guys. Okay, so I'm here to teach you about middle voice, just a little bit, because there's a ton to know about middle voice, and you all, I know you all have been asking me, I wanna know about middle voice. So this is a huge subject, but um, I'm going to just talk a little bit about it today, just so you have an idea of um, the gist of it. And I'm gonna be making more videos later. I'm going to be actually, in the next, I don't know, four months, six months, making an online platform. Um, my puppy has a bone, a bone down there. I'm gonna be making an online platform um, eventually, maybe six months, I don't know, where it's gonna be all access. You pay, you know, something like 30 bucks a month or something to um, get videos or content. I, I haven't come up with it yet, but it's going to be, um, it's going to be like a subscription thing, so you'll have access to a ton of stuff. First, I have to make the stuff. Um, but I just wanted to, um, yeah, talk with you a little bit about middle voice tonight. Um, so middle voice is often really misunderstood. A lot of teachers think they're teaching it, but they're not. They're only teaching a few basic things like nyeh, 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 or, you know, I don't know, pay yay, yay, but that's like, that's a very beginner thing and also it's not always taught the right way. So um, what I wanna just start with are the bare basics. So have you ever, when you're singing, really felt like you were kind of shouting from your voice, from your throat, kind of just like you're shouting and it just doesn't feel good? Yeah, like me too, all the time, right, in the beginning. So kind of like, let the storm rage on, and you're doing that. So that's most of us in the beginning, and how does Ariana Grande sing all of these insane high notes all the time on world tours without getting tired? She doesn't get tired, how is that? That is a successful voice. You can get famous like that. It's super easy to get famous these days, but can you last, right? I mean, I don't think Billie Eilish is gonna make it. She has a terrible technique. She's always singing from her throat, and it's all like this, right? she's not gonna last probably, right? So we want to be some people who last, whether it's a career or, you know, it's for fun so that we don't like have anything that hurts here. So one of the big reasons why we get sore throats is because we're just singing from our throat. And I'm sure you guys have all heard, heard me talk about, we want to learn to bounce the sound off of our faces instead of into our throats, right? So everyone put your hands right here on your chest and just go, hey, how's it going? My puppy, my puppy's chewing on these. <laughs> hey, you go, hey, how's it going? There you go, right there. Feel that vibration? Hey, hey, where is that? Hey, where's the vibration? Oh, it's right here. And I know that sounds kind of funny, like, well, no, it's here, but no, it actually, did you guys know that sound moves up your body as you sing, right? Did you know, like, if, so if it starts here, hey, hey, it's here now. walk up my face. Crazy, right? So because sound, I know I'm talking a lot, but this is actually really important. There are no quick fixes with singing. You gotta understand all of this. In order to sing really high notes, if you wanna sing high notes, sound, pitch has to actually resonate up here. You have to allow it to walk up your face. Otherwise, if you close your face, which most of us do, we have closed faces, even if it doesn't look like it on the outside, you might have a beautiful open looking face, but, but, on the inside, it's, it could be closed, right? Most of us have closed faces. So when, when your face is closed, the sound cannot move up your body and it cannot hit up here. So that why, that's the reason why most of us are pushing for high notes, all of that, you know? Like, it doesn't work at all, right? So when you're pushing, that's because you're trapped here and you don't, you're not allowing it to move up and so then you're just pushing, right? Pushing means you're giving up. But if I go, ha, ha, right? Ha. Up here. So one of the things we want to work on through time is opening the face. That's a whole other video, and that'll come, you know, probably with my subscription video thing, which is gonna be super fun. Um, let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in a subscription, and if you'd also be interested if I did like a once a month, twice a month, monthly Zoom call, you know, where everyone hopped on, and you know, if you got a couple videos, you know. If you got a video a week or something, if you'd be interested in the subscription like that. I'm, I'm making different subscriptions right now, so I'm trying to see if what you guys would want. Because um, I would love to, um, 
you know, work with you all on this. This is super fun. So, right, opening the face. That's a whole other thing too. So the way I talk, the way I work is kind of by babbling and talking about all these different things at once because they all relate. So putting your hand here, hey, how's it going? Ha, ha, that's hitting you here. Cause why? Sound moves up your body, it hits you here. Great. Now, can you go like this? Go, ooh, like a monkey, right there. I don't know if you can feel that. I couldn't at first, but it's, if you can feel your head vibrating, like you can feel it right there. I feel that, it's literally hitting me up here. Here, so that's your head voice because it's in your head, just head voice. Now I'm sure you've heard about these before, but we only, most teachers only teach these two in the olden days, you know, when we did, when we had nothing but opera, we were singing just opera hundreds of years ago. Of course you would only teach chest and head voice, but now, now these days we've got pop, we've got rock, musical theater, rap, all of that is in your face. So if you're, if you're only learning chest and head voice, no middle voice, it's not gonna work. You're gonna be missing out on all of this and you're gonna be pushing and it's not gonna be good. That's why middle voice is so important. So did you know that everybody when they first start off, start off only has a chest and head voice? We all do. So have you ever heard someone, they're only here and here, they're let the storm rage on, right? Instead of like, ah, I would demonstrate, but I'm doing about 40 lessons a week and my voice is exhausted. But that is how you, you put it here so it's effortless. Did you know that this part of your face is 600 times more powerful than singing from here, right? Why doesn't everyone do this then? Why, you ask? Because most teachers don't teach middle voice and the ones who do often don't teach it the right way or they don't give enough or you know it's not complete. And even if you had a great teacher who taught middle voice, a lot of people, they don't wanna practice it because it takes two to three years to grow your middle voice. Two to three years, and that's, that's if you practice every day for 45 minutes to an hour every day, maybe one or two days off, right? But you gotta be committed. So most people just give up, right? This is why most people aren't able to hit those high notes, sing like Ariana Grande. People DM me all the time. How can I sing like Ariana Grande? How can I do this? How can I do that? Are you willing to put in the work? Yes, yes. But then, you know, after a month, they're like, it's too hard, right? No, <laughs> you can do this. So, right, right, right. So we only have this and this at first. It takes two to three years to grow this. So how do we start growing this middle voice with daily practice, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some exercises later down the road so this isn't a huge video. But first, I just want you to go, here's a very common one most teachers start off with. Now I wanna make sure though, that you're not going nya, 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 nya. This is where a lot of teachers teach it wrong. They just let the student go nya, 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 nya. See how half of that's in my throat? Like, it's not, it's not the same as blending. If I nya, 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 I'm here and here, that's another topic. But if you're just unconsciously letting it kind of fall into your chest, and I'm gonna mention this a lot in future videos, like, oh, it fell back. Oh, it fell back again. That's like lazy and that falls down. That's not gonna build your middle voice. Maybe it will a little. It might take you 10 years instead of two to three if you do it the wrong way, right? This is why you gotta do this the right way. So you, you grow faster. So as you do this, flattering face when I do that. But see how I'm like jamming at the front of my face? I'm not going nya nya, right? Not falling back. So when it falls back, that's when you start to push. When it stays forward, that's how, listen to this. I've been staring at the edge of the water long as, pretty, but that's all here and it's gonna exhaust me. Yeah, I can do it maybe two or three days in a row. After that, I can't do eight shows a week on Broadway like that, I'll be exhausted. So you might know someone who's like, oh, I'm fine, but can they actually do a career on that? I don't think so, right? So I've been, I've been staring at the edge of the water long as I can remember, never really knowing why. You know, my voice is tired. 40 lessons this week, but does that make sense? So all these crazy exercises, nya, 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 nya. 
And I know we haven't gone through this exercise or any exercises for this one yet, but we have to even understand what middle voice is before we do any of this stuff. Make sense? So I know you guys are gonna be saying, oh, I wanna see the warm-ups. I'll give you some warm-ups through time, but first you just have to understand why we're doing this, right? So let's try that. Pretend like you're cutting your face in half like this, like you don't want anything to fall below here. Pretend like there's a little hallway right here and there's like a little string, a little piece of string. Oh. Oh, nice. One of my students just messaged me on Skype. There's a little, little like there's a little string right here, a little, little hallway, and you're making it really thin. You don't want it to go to fall down and go. Right? You want to know a secret to singing really high and really loud? As you get higher, you gotta thin it. My voice is exhausted, so it's not the best tip top shape to show you this stuff. But you can't, as you get higher, nya, nya, nya. <laughs> you can't make it thick. If you make it thick, nya, nya, that's what a lot of teachers get wrong when they teach this stuff. And then they tell you, just push, push more. No. If a teacher ever tells you just to push more or be louder, run. Run for the hills, right? That's just the worst piece of advice. And that's what a beginner teacher would tell you who doesn't know what they're doing. Right? And I know that sounds really harsh, but I've seen so many people come from beginner teachers or just teachers, a lot of, so many teachers out there in general don't know what they're doing. And then they, okay, my student. Um, and then, you know, then the student has to like start from scratch, right? So you don't want that. Always make sure you're with a good teacher who's actually teaching you stuff and you're seeing regular results. Um, yeah, but so, as you do this, see how I'm jamming it in the front of my face? It's like a whiny dying cat sound. Middle voice is ugly. Middle voice is not pretty. Mm -mm. It's not pretty at all. But we're putting it right there. Okay. So then I would recommend if you were like singing a song like I've been staring at the edge of the water. And I know that looks really easy, but most people I guarantee are and that's good. The thing is, you're gonna probably fall down a lot at first, like maybe the first six months even, the first year. Cause it, even though you might understand it completely, like I totally get it, like you might get it 100%, like I could write a book on this, Claire, I get it. Your brain might get it in a second, but your body might not get this for like seven months to a year, right? What your, what your brain gets in a second, your body might get in seven months, right? It was like that with me, it's like that with a lot of my students, most of them. So be patient with this stuff. Um, yeah, and like try going through the song. And just notice if and when it falls back, which is probably going to fall back a ton. Okay, a lot of it's here, but most of it's falling, right? And just work so that it's all just staying here. And I know it sounds nasally, like, Claire, are you teaching me to be nasal? No way. I would never teach you just to be nasal. This is nasal resonance. Never really knowing why is like nasality. Never really knowing why I wish I could be the perfect daughter. That's like nasal resonance. Because without that, because like imagine you're on stage on, in broad, on Broadway. In the olden days, especially when there were no mics, you were, you were singing to hundreds of people, a thousand people. Your face is 600 times more powerful than here. So if you don't have a microphone, you've got to sing from here. And by the way, you don't want to, you don't want to, rely on a microphone because some people I, I know might say in the comments, well, I'll just get a microphone then so that I don't have to do this. No, because then, then you'll end up like Billie Eilish who, you know, I don't want to say anything bad, but you know, she, she kind of, she tends to rely only on microphones. Without a microphone, I don't think she could sing, right? So you don't want to ever rely on microphones because that's not a real technique. A real technique is you can do all of this stuff without mics. Okay. All right. This was a really long video, but um, maybe I can edit it or maybe not, but have a good night. Bye.